In this video, we will explore 12 odd symptoms of lung damage to watch for and act on quickly before the lungs become critically endangered. Our lungs perform absolutely vital functions of bringing oxygen into the bloodstream while removing waste gas called carbon dioxide in order to sustain life. Healthy lungs also help to regulate fluid balance in the body and provide defenses against inhaled irritants. The prevalent belief that lung disease only strikes those with a smoking history, asthma, or work exposures is somewhat misguided. In reality, various influences like infections, genetics, air pollution, and aging can also damage these delicate organs. According to the American Lung Association, around 24 million U.S. adults are estimated to have impaired lung function, and most are undiagnosed. In fact, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, more than 50% of adults with severely reduced lung capacity are unaware as the disease progresses silently over years. This allows substantial damage before clinical symptoms arise. However, there are some early signs it leaves before the lungs permanently fail, which most people ignore. If you want to check for lung issues, stick around and watch this video all the way to the end. We will also discuss some simple home remedies to reverse lung damage and protect respiratory health. One of the most common early signs of lung damage is shortness of breath. Healthy lungs efficiently exchange gases like oxygen and carbon dioxide so that we can effortlessly inhale and exhale without labor or strain. However, when the lungs become damaged and the capacity is reduced, it can become very difficult to breathe. This is because injuries to the air sacs and passageways make oxygen exchange less effective. As the lung function worsens, everyday tasks like climbing stairs, carrying groceries, or walking to the car can cause sudden shortness of breath. Therefore, it is crucial to monitor your breathing and watch for changes like struggling for air during routine activities. If you notice yourself becoming winded more easily, seek medical evaluation right away. Number two, persistent coughing. Another sign that can signal lung trouble is constant coughing. Healthy lungs have natural self-cleaning mechanisms that allow them to clear mucus and small particles without issue. This keeps the airways open and free of obstruction, so air can flow smoothly to the tiny air sacs deep in the lungs. However, when lung tissue becomes inflamed or damaged, normal cleaning actions may fail. This allows mucus and debris to accumulate, which stretches and aggravates the sensitive lung lining. As a result, the body is triggered to cough almost constantly in an attempt to keep the airways clear. Not only is chronic coughing unpleasant, it can also strain the lungs and chest further. If you have a cough lasting over three weeks or keep coughing until you gag, it warrants further medical evaluation. You will be tested to check for infections while also assessing lung capacity and function. Even worse, if you are coughing up blood or have blood streak mucus, it may be coming from your lungs or upper respiratory tract. Blood that comes from the lungs or respiratory tract will often appear bubbly. This is because it's been mixed with air and mucus in the lungs. Wherever the blood is coming from, it signals a health problem and should be discussed with your doctor immediately. The third symptom is wheezing. In addition to constant coughing, lung damage can also lead to high-pitched wheezing lung noise. When lungs are healthy, air flows smoothly through the airways and into the tiny air sacs with very little sound, like a soft, gentle breeze in and out while breathing. However, lung damage from illness, allergies, smoking, or other irritants can narrow these airways and cause turbulence while breathing. As air struggles to squeeze through the constricted passages, it creates an audible wheezing or whistling noise. This high-pitched, squeaky lung sound tends to be more noticeable when exhaling. If it happens when at rest, 
It's even more concerning than when it happens during physical activities or exercise. While occasional wheezing from a cold may resolve on its own, chronic long-term wheezing warrants medical testing. If you notice such a sound while breathing, seek out quick medical attention. The fourth sign of lung damage is chest pain. The lungs are enveloped by a web of sensitive nerves that alert the brain about airway obstructions or damage. When lung tissue becomes inflamed or scarred, these nerve networks relay signals of pain and discomfort. Many describe lung pain as an ache or stabbing sensation, often worse when coughing, breathing deeply, or during certain movements. Since the lungs also border the heart, gut, and spine, pain coming from these other organs, called referred pain, can also feel like it's coming from the lungs. This complexity means chest pain should never be ignored since life-threatening conditions in the lungs or other organs may underlie it. However, research shows that in many cases, lung pain directly links to respiratory decline. As the lungs labor harder to oxygenate the body, nerve discomfort increases. So, take chest pain seriously and seek medical attention to pinpoint the causation. Furthermore, if you notice the chest pain also comes with jaw pain, pain down the arm or shoulder and shortness of breath, call 911 right away as these symptoms might be indicative of a looming heart failure. Sign number five, clubbed fingers. Having fingernails that flatten with prominent cuticles as soft tissues become prominent in the knuckle is a form of deformation termed clubbing and can be a sign of lung damage. Healthy fingernails feature a slight upward curvature, and the tips of fingers demonstrate a uniform, rounded appearance. However, with certain lung conditions, the fingers can take on a barrel shape as the nails then angle downward. You may also notice the nails feeling soft and sponge-like, warm to the touch and forming a rounded, bulging shape, giving the appearance of an upside-down spoon. This deformation stems from low blood oxygen circulating for prolonged periods, eventually triggering the growth signals driving these changes. Even though clubbed fingers can manifest in other illnesses such as in heart diseases, they most often link with respiratory decline, especially in diseases like lung cancer, interstitial fibrosis, and advanced COPD. Therefore, if you notice the symptoms of clubbing on your fingers, do seek medical attention to diagnose the exact cause and get the best treatment as soon as possible. Raspy voice is another sign that could indicate failing lungs. The larynx commonly called the voice box located at the top of the neck, and the vocal cords play a critical role in enabling normal speech and resonant vocal tones. Air from the lungs causes the vocal folds to vibrate, creating sounds that the throat, nose, mouth, and tongue mold into recognizable words. Healthy vocal cord tissue can withstand repeated motion without strain. However, lung disorders can hamper their function through both direct and indirect means. For example, Irritants like smoke can inflame the vocal cords, while excess mucus and coughing can also strain the larynx. Diminished lung capacity also handicaps air support needed for vocal cord vibration. As the lungs labor excessively, less air reaches the voice box to facilitate optimal movement. This translates into a raspy and hoarse voice, with the quality and pitch of the voice often correlating with severity of lung damage. Therefore, pay close attention to your voice and ask your friends or families if they can pick up on any concerning difference in your voice. If so, go for a medical evaluation. Symptom number seven, bluish skin. When lungs function properly, oxygen-rich blood circulates to tissues giving the skin a reddish hue. However, as lung disease advances and gas exchange efficiency declines, oxygen transport in the red blood cells suffers. This causes blueness in nail beds, lips, ears, and cheeks, a condition termed cyanosis, which stems directly from inadequate oxygenation. At first, 
Cyanosis may appear only while physically active as compromised lungs cannot meet increased oxygen demands of the body during these times. Later on, you may notice cyanosis even at rest, which marks severely impaired respiratory function. The blue tint is usually more noticeable around thinner skin covering cartilage and bony areas. If you notice unusual skin blueness, track its frequency and correlation to physical activities. If it is constant or worsens even at rest, it might be an indication that the lungs are failing. Another sign of lung damage is fatigue. Feeling constantly run down and lacking energy are common signals that your lungs may be struggling. Oxygen plays an integral role in producing the energy our cells and muscles need to function. As we breathe, red blood cells collect oxygen from the lungs and transport it to tissues throughout the body. However, when lung disease sets in, less oxygen circulates to supply these demands. Early on, you may only notice fatigue and exhaustion after stressful physical activities, climbing stairs, or walking long distances. But as lung damage advances, you'll find yourself chronically tired, even at rest. Simple daily activities like showering, making the bed, or cooking a meal can leave you drained. Therefore, tracking your fatigue levels is critical as gradually worsening fatigue warrants medical assessment to determine causation and treatment options. Symptom number nine, recurring respiratory infections. Healthy lungs feature multiple immune defenses that protect against inhaled bacteria, viruses, and fungi. From microscopic agents in the airways to antibody-rich mucus secretions, the lungs provide constant surveillance. However, when lung tissue grows damaged from illness or environmental irritants, these immune protections falter. Smoke, allergens, particulate matter, and chemicals all impair the lung lining and the cells battling infections. This leaves damaged lung pathways vulnerable to opportunistic germs that a healthy respiratory tract would normally suppress. Bacteria viruses and fungi bloom out of control within segments of the lungs, causing recurrent infections. If you notice this, seek prompt care for respiratory infections to identify pathogens through sputum tests as well as to get the proper medications to suppress these microorganisms before they cause further damage to the lungs. Next symptom of lung damage is swelling or edema. The lungs play a crucial regulatory role managing fluid balance within our blood and tissues. Special microscopic vessels within the lung walls help filter excess water and proteins from the circulation to keep edema at bay. However, when lung tissue becomes damaged from illness or injury, these filtration duties falter. Fluid leaks from overwhelmed lung blood vessels and begins pooling around air sac walls. This causes pronounced swelling or edema and congestion that hinders breathing even further. If you notice swelling in parts of the body, especially accompanied by shortness of breath, fatigue, and chest tightness, then you are likely seeing signs of failing lungs. Don't dismiss these signs and seek medical evaluation immediately. Another sign of lung damage is high blood pressure. The network of blood vessels within the lungs plays a key role regulating overall blood pressure. Special receptor cells detect blood oxygen levels and pH, providing feedback that calibrates vessel contraction and pulse rate. This allows smooth adjustments maintaining ideal pressure. However, as lung damage proceeds, failing regulation of the blood pressure results. This can lead to an increase in blood pressure which may further cause end organ damage. Therefore, monitoring blood pressure provides a quantitative means to track respiratory status. Don't dismiss new onset hypertension quickly, as lung disorders may be the potential culprit. Catching these blood pressure changes early helps prevent end organ damage from pressure overload. Number 12, weight loss. An unexplained weight loss, especially coupled with some of the earlier discussed symptoms, 
is another sign of potential lung damage. Let me explain how. Sufficient oxygen is required for our cells to properly metabolize nutrients and calories into energy. So when lung disease impairs oxygen transport, the tissues try to use the inefficient anaerobic respiration in an attempt to sustain basic function. This less effective energy process stimulates appetite signals. However, adequate eating is also deterred by chronic cough, fatigue, altered smell, and nausea that comes with lung damage. In addition, the inflammatory byproducts of the overwhelmed, oxygen-lacking lung tissue can suppress appetite or hunger hormones like ghrelin. Together, these effects commonly cause pronounced weight loss, especially in later-stage respiratory disease like COPD or pulmonary fibrosis. Even subtle monthly weight drops may mark insidiously declining lung capacity long before breathing tests demonstrate problems. So don't always dismiss gradual, unexplained weight reductions. If you notice one or more of these common early warning signs signaling lung trouble, don't panic but do make prompt medical appointments. The good news is that applying certain lifestyle changes and supplements may help support and protect lungs function especially if damage is detected early. 1. Quit smoking and avoid secondhand smoke to prevent airway damage. 2. Exercise moderately most days to expand lung capacity and clear mucus through deeper breathing. Do this gradually without overexertion. 3. Consume anti-inflammatory foods like fatty fish, leafy greens, citrus fruits, walnuts, and olive oil to ease lung irritation. 4. Take air quality precautions when pollution or irritants are high to reduce particle inhalation. 5. Adopt stress reduction practices like meditation, nature sounds, or yoga to minimize anxiety-related breathing changes. 6. See your doctor for regular lung function checks and to get the appropriate medical treatment. Keeping a close eye out for insidious symptoms of lung damage helps safeguard lung function. Shortness of breath, chronic coughs, wheezing, and chest pain signify damaged airways struggling to oxygenate tissues. Clubbed fingers, skin cyanosis, and blood pressure changes reflect declining gas transport. Hoarseness in the voice marks strained vocal cords as the lungs labor excessively. Catching lung injury early on provides the best opportunity to intervene and prevent progression toward grave respiratory illness. Don't ignore fatigue signaling oxygen debt building daily. Swelling and repeat infections expose weakening lung defenses. Unintentional weight fluctuations likewise warrant concern to assess respiratory status. Discuss any observation suggesting impaired lung capacity with your doctor for prompt evaluation. Remember, when you can't breathe, nothing else matters. So nurture lungs diligently via healthy practices. I appreciate you taking the time to learn about the common yet overlooked signs of lung damage. If you found this information helpful, I kindly ask that you take just a moment to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and also share it with others. This allows me to continue producing more content focused on keeping you safe, healthy, and well-informed. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take good care until next time.